Welcome to Excel and Finance video number 54. If you want to download this workbook for chapter 6, or if you want to download the PDFs for chapter 6, just click on the link below the video. Be sure to scroll, scroll all the way down to the Finance class section. Hey, um, the last couple of videos we've been talking about three important principles in bond finance. Rates are inversely related to price. We did a video on that. We talked um, two or three videos about par, discount, and premium. And here in this video, we want to talk about interest rate risk. Uh, in particular, the more years to maturity, the higher the interest rate risk becomes. Also, low coupon rates um, have more interest rate risk also. Interest rate risk is just the chance uh, that the interest rate will change. Two examples over in Excel. Let's go to Excel. First one is we want to examine uh, the fact that the longer maturity, the more the discount rate affects the bond price. Here's some uh, data. Let's just build a little table and see for one year bond and a 30 year bond, given different interest rates, how what happens to the price. And then we will plot it on a chart, which will help us visually see the relationship. I'm going to say present value. The rate, this is n equal to 1, so I'm just going to click there, comma, NPER is 1. And we have to lock that, so I'm going to hit F4, comma, the total number of periods. I'm sorry, the PMT is our uh, minus 100, comma. The future value is minus uh, 1,000. That's from the point of view of the corporation. And then close parentheses. Oh, we're going to need to lock these. Hit the F4 key. I'm going to put my cursor right there. Hit the F4 key. So the only relative cell reference is that. So as we copy it down. All right, well, just as we suspected, prices and rates are inversely related. So as this rate increases, the price decreases for a one year maturity. Now I'm going to uh, copy this formula, escape, and I'm going to come here and put it in edit mode and control V. And then I'm going to change this green one here. I'm going to point to the edge and drag it over. Everything else is the same. I just want a different years to maturity. Control enter and double click and send it down. Well, right off the bat, you know, 1,000 47 to 916, you know, so there's about a little over a hundred dollar swing, whereas here, you know, there's over a thousand dollar swing. So as the interest rates change for a longer maturity, it's over a much longer period, so more interest is uh, taken out and we get a much smaller value. Let's plot this. I'm going to highlight here. These will be labels, these will be our legend, and these will be our data points. I'm going to use a line chart. These are uh, one, two different lines plotted. Actually, I'm going to use an x, y, All right, I want to uh, plot this. I'm going to highlight. Uh, these will be labels on our x-axis, and we will consider them labels. Uh, not, we're not going to use an xy scatter. We're actually going to use a, a line chart with one line made up from these numbers, another line made up from these numbers. Highlight all that. Insert line. I'm going to select uh, this one right here. And there we can see uh, the relationship. Uh, let's add some labels. I'm going to actually point to the edge, hold Shift, and then drag in to make it a little bit smaller. Drag it down here. I'm going to click on this, right click Format Legend, and I'm going to say move it to the top. I would like a chart title, so I'm going to go out to, to Layout, Chart Title, and I'm going to say Above. 
Immediately when it's selected, I'm going to come up to the formula bar and click and type an equal sign and click on that. Because here's what we're trying to uh, illustrate here. The longer the maturity, the more the rate affects bond price. Now I'm going to change the font size over here to like 10. I'm going to uh, click and drag this down like that. I wanted to add go back to layout, I want to add uh, some labels, both for the vertical and horizontal. So I'm going to go to axis labels. We'll do horizontal first, title below the axis. I'm going to type here equals that, enter. Now I'm going to go back up to layout, vertical. How about that one? With, with it selected, I'm going to click there, equals, and uh, maybe that one right there. You know, I don't like that one. I'm just going to uh, come up here and just type bond value, enter. I'll move that up. I pointed it to the edge. That's the move cursor. You know, I don't like the, uh, oh, no, it's all 10. Let's see what size this is. That's 10, too. OK, but the point here is, as the rate changes. We got this picture here, and you can see the value doesn't change very much. But for the uh, same rate scale, the 30-year drops precipitously in comparison to this line. So that's just to illustrate the interest rate risk. A little bit of change in the discount rate or yield to market can have a dramatic effect on uh, the price of a bond. Now let's look at another interest rate risk. We'll click on the sheet 14.5. And here we want to see the lower the coupon rate, the more the yield to market affects the bond price. So you have two bonds, one with a 2% coupon, so it's just paying 2%, another one with a coupon contract rate of 5%. And we want to see what happens to the value as we uh, increase the discount rate or the yield to market. We'll use our present value function, the rate this right here, and we have a period, uh, just for the illustration, I'm just going to use n equals 1, so we we'll use that, comma, the NPER, it's 10 years, and I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it, comma, the payment, we're going to do this right here inside the formula, so I'm going to click that one, hit the F4 key to lock it, times our 1,000, F4 key to lock it, all right, so here it's going to calculate the 2% uh, interest payment, coupon payment, comma, the future value. We will do these both as negative, so I'm going to go back to the, the PMT and put a negative, and then for the future value I'm going to put a negative. All right, and the type we can leave off because this is an end annuity, and then I'm going to copy it down. OK, so I can see one of the, I didn't lock. So what I did is I went down to the end. I put it in edit mode. I can see clearly that's wrong. So I'm going to come back up here and edit it, F2. I forgot to lock that one, so I'm going to hit the F4. Control-Enter, and then I'm going to drag it down. OK, so it goes from 768 to 178. Let's see what the percentage or proportional change is. Remember, it's always the end value divided by the begin value minus 1. So like 76% drop over this particular range of yield to market. Now let's do the same thing here. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to copy. I'm copying it in edit mode. Escape. Click here, F2. Put it in it back in edit mode. Control V. And now that's right. It's this. Uh, that's right too. That's the NPER. The only one that I need to change is this one. So I'm going to notice what color it is. I'm going to come over here and point to the edge. When I see my move cursor, I'm going to click and drag. If you don't like to do it that way, uh, we have our C8. You can actually, if uh, that's hard for you to do, you can actually come here and just double click. Then click there, and then hit the F4 key. All right, Control-Enter. I'm going to drag it down. Right, and you can see that, of course, at the yield of market to five, coupon of 
5 here. It's going to be par. But now let's do the same formula here. Let's figure out the uh, change in value. The end divided by begin minus 1. You can see this dropped a little bit less than this. So this has more of a interest rate risk as the uh, rate increases, the uh, value drops even more as compared to a coupon with a higher, I mean a contract with a higher coupon rate. So two things, interest rate risk. The lower the coupon rate, the more the yield to market affects bond price. And the longer the maturity, the more the yield to market affects bond price. All right, we'll see you next video.